you have no idea how excited I am to be here right now. I've been sent the game like two days before the reveal there at the Summer Game Fest. And this is a day before I'm allowed to actually put this out. So thank you so much to NeoWiz for sending the key there. Not like sponsored, but you know, I got the key early, so I gotta mention that. But yeah, as a lot of you know, I've been excited for this game ever since it got announced for the very first time. It looks so fun. And I couldn't be more excited to be here right now. Oh my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've listened to the music already. It's so good. This is a demo. They said it's around two to three hours. So we should be able to have like two or three videos on this immediately. It just feels nice. I'm just so interested. Also in the story, like, I don't know what to expect here. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me here today. I know it's a late upload compared to what I usually do, but I do hope you enjoy the video and I'm happy you're here. I also get very happy when you guys get the merch. Link in the description. New design right there. Many older ones over there. You can browse if you are interested. But now enough chit chat. It's time to get into this. So strap yourselves in, grab yourself a little snack, some water, and without further ado let's begin best settings now lying and also the loading screen look at that big old nose that's cute you know not the great rider carlo collodi him can you hear me yes a blue butterfly rebirth Geppetto's puppet. we need your help yeah show me show me what we're doing here like what what is the point of this and is my father evil? Wait, we're in a train? Oh, yeah. Man, it looks so nice. Even the camera controls, you know? A lot, I've played a lot of these games here. here. You are. And a lot of the time, they have this most stiff-ass shit here. Look at how smooth this is. You've been looking for me? What? Wait, what the hell is this? Gemini or Gemini. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot. Okay. And I'll explain what's happening. Please do. Please escort him to the hotel. Okay, let me let me quickly check out everything here. So we put pulse cell grinder monad's lamp increases brightness upon use. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside. It's not Gemini cricket. It's Gemini cricket. Grinder repairs durability. When durability is low, attack decreases. When it's zero, it gets destroyed and cannot be repaired with a grinder. Interesting. Pulse cell is healing. We got gestures. Wait, what? Extra bag here. We got last resort immediate character death upon use it releases all of the p organs energy at once dies upon use what situation can we use this in the old man feared the possibility of his son not awakening properly and going into a frenzy this initialization device was made as a necessary evil for delicate readjustments that is very very cool i want to know more about the old man here though so did he fear for his own life that if it went rampant shit or did he fear for you know him. And why are we here? And why isn't he here? So we have two weapons. We have the hand slot, two amulet slots, and defense parts. They have a bunch of stats there. Okay. And then we have costume. We can have hat and clothes. Everything just looks nice, man. I love this font too. Actually, wait. If I do that. Oh, oh you change up and down. Ah, okay, okay. Open the door. God damn, the Let's game looks nice. Wait, wait, wait. Find something that might help. Do that. Also, hold on a second. Are we actually in Unreal Engine 5 right now? I saw something about that. Is this actually my first Unreal Engine 5 game of all time? Not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Look at the blueprints there. Though. A mechanical heart there. The hotel. Yay. All right, combat style. Oh, we're going to choose balance, dexterity, or strength. There is just no way that this game has Path of the Cricket Prick and... Path of the Rat Bastard. How do I pick between those two? Oh, we can also see display of stats here. Oh, we both got Vitality and Vega on this, and they're different. Uh, this has a lot of stamina, of course, a little bit less health, and not that much damage, but faster. I kind of like it, you know, a little nimble style there. I feel like balance might be good as well, but I, I want to see. I want to try this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is it. Our dodge is a, an actual roll, yes. And we can do kind of the same thing as we can in Souls. So if you have like one mini stamina, you can still roll. L hit. Hold to run. It just feels so much like a Souls game. In like a good way. Hold this for extra bag. Ah, I'm so tempted to just press the right D-pad right now. So how do I use this? Okay. We speed the shit out of people. Uh, that used some though. And then guarding is there. Okay. Well, let's, let's do it. Let me fight some fellas. Boom. So I've also seen that we can obviously use our arm for cool shit here. They're all dead. Cut Central Station. Uh, civilians are dead. This is a guy. Look at that. Hey, you. Bop, 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 bop. Beauty. All right, let's try a heavy here. Whoa. Oh, we got the double heavy too. 
We also are range like a stupid idiot. Sawtoothed wheel. It can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. As the game running smooth right now. This is it. Need to obtain. We got pulse cells. The healing fuckers. Yep, yep, yep. There's a maximum amount. And when you reach the max, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Okay, that sounds cool. Need to figure out how that works real quick though. Get out my face. Hey. Oh wait, so in this we, <laughs> we do a little uh Bloodborne um, step instead. Bop, bop, bop. It, that, that's kind of Neo-ish. Hey, stop it. Bop, 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 bop. Out. And... Mm, mm, mm. Give me that shit. Fable Catalyst? I think Fable is the mana stuff. <laughs> Chillin'. Dim Ergo Fragment? Open this up. Hey. Nice effect on that. Probably open from other side, if I had to guess. Hey, we have Dark Souls jumping. When you run and you press um left stick. And of course, stand still is at back step like that. Also, what about run attack? That's a nice fast one. And then this is this heavy run attack. You need the main entrance key here. Light up the character surroundings. Hey, stop that brick. Is that a jump attack? I mean, drop attack? Boom. Oh, that's smooth. So I really like how nice it is with um, how much stamina you have. Like, we don't use- Hey, you're not dead. You're supposed to be de dead. Thermite. Also, wait. You can change like that. Wait, wait. LB plus Y. Let me see that. What was that? Uh, well, let me change here and then do this just to see how light. Oh, you just have a permanent lamp now. Oh, we got Jiminy Cricket. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait. <gasps> it's teaching us how to do it. Oh. Beautiful. Can I do that? Like, in fight two? We need to try. Also, someone's stomping around. We've been hearing this the entire time. Where is this guy? Dutch. Go behind him. Oh. Yes. Get that does so much damage. Passenger's note. I actually want to read here because it's just cool. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Definitely make sure to keep clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least they should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone. So what happened exactly? Like, why is this happening? I'd imagine it's somewhat similar to what the dead or old man was scared would happen to us. But obviously, we're also here as like a mediator of some sort. Puppet show festival. Get the most loyal servant. What? Do it. A dream of becoming a real girl. Harold Theater, Rosa Isabel Street. A grand exhibition crat, and it doesn't show year. Uh, let me just really. Bump, 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 Dutch. Ow. How dare you? Mm. Oop. Give me this. A dimmer. Hey, hey. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I'm not. There it is. Champ of Machina Workshop. Ergo is life. Doors and letters for a thing that unlocked. You can do this to get shortcuts. Uh -huh. Of course, this is a sign that there's a mini boss coming up. He's over there. It's a big one. Oh, wait, I didn't see him down there when I was looking. It looks like I'm like revving my thing, but I don't have anything. Maybe that's why. It hasn't shown me how to do it yet, so I guess it's just waiting. Also, what's up? Big little guy there. Hey, you're mean. And nope. Do you have more? You don't have that there. Ow! What the hell? Alright, bop, bop, dodge. Not dodge. And dodge, bum, bum, dodge. Okay, boom, boom, dodge. Okay. Got you down? Oh, shit. We got a lot more. Dodge. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what, what, what? It's groggy, so you can do a heavy? Wait, wait, what is that? Does that stagger him then? Oh, shit. It does stagger. And you can get a. Oh, Fat key. Got main entrance key. We do this. I went all right. You know, I got hit like four times, though. That wasn't good. But at least it didn't one shot me, so that's nice. Now, what is this? Right. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I now I understand. It uses my fable shit. So can I please save somewhere? I also gotta try punching the guy, but I kinda wanna get some attachments or whatever they are. Can I get a grace, please? Or whatever they're called in this. <laughs> Look at the fucking view, though. Oh, yes. Is this something? Repair the stargazer. Stargazer activated. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. Okay. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. Ah. This stargazer will make you stronger. It's the money. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. Oh. So be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. 
Weird. Okay, wait. Let me see how this works then. Level up. It doesn't last forever, you see. We get around three damage per technique level at the moment. That is not bad. Okay, so vitality is the tank stat, right? HP, defenses, vigor is stamina, a little bit of defense. Capacity is capacity. And legion, whatever that is. Motivity, we don't really get anything good from that right now. It's pretty much strength scaling. I don't have anything that's really good for that. Technique is like dex. And advance is it gives resistance and defense stuff and legion. Obviously, I want some vitality first here. Give me two of that. Yes. That's a dead horse. No. Oh, shit. No. No. Okay, it's the worst combo. So I actually don't want to play it anymore. Perfect guard. Bad right before getting hit. The first try that that shit. No. Get away from me, everyone. Ow. Trying to secure all these idiots. Good shit. Okay. Back up. And we'll do a little bum, bum, bum. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Bop, bop. How much do they give? Let me, let me, I am looking at my money. 47. It's not too bad. It's like 700 at the moment. Uh, Philip Callist again. Is this enough heal here? I'm half health. It's around that. Okay. The Krat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the cities under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. We just read about that over there. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Benigni Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. That'll really alleviate all the death. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there's no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy creating more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Cred Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So it seems that the Grand Covenant, which is what controls the puppets, is fucked. You know, someone probably has done that on purpose. And they also got something about a petrification disease. This is like the worst day for all these people. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't think I can rest at the Stargazer or like chill at it without. Hey, I'm actually resting and respawning everyone, so we're not gonna do it. We do want some levels though. So wait, wait, now I have one thing here. Oh, I'm stupid. That's just a parry. Oh, we still take damage when we uh, just got. It's just not as much. That was um, the, the perfect parry thing. That was cool. It can be worth it. I feel like on a sweeper build, the guy with the big sword. Uh, let me get a technique to get some more damage. Yes, please. And also, let me use my things here. It gives 100 only. Ah, uh, bum, bum, boom. Ooh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I didn't see that the, the tap heavy is just like a... And it jumps back automatically. That's nice. And you can do combos with like two light into a heavy. And then it goes back. Also stab this guy. Mm. Is that jump attack down? Let's see. Oh, there is. That was a cool one. Pop, pop, pop. Get away from me. And then boop, you over there. Pop. Well, that's a big damage too. Just a little stab there. Oh, oh we get a clear one. It's gotta be like 500. I don't wanna fall off, but I kinda wanna see if I can. There's an item behind there. So you have a normal fail while you press, and then you have one while guarding. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fail art. Oh, so that's why the handle is a thing there. And you obviously charge them by attack and shit. Oh shit, it's Captain. Oh no, it's Red Attack. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Ouch. Stop. Dutch. Boop, boop, boop. Are you groggy? Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Ouch. Okay, wait, you combo me. Wasn't, I didn't realize. Well, I probably won't get a lot groggy with this build here, but when it happens, it's great. What's over here? What is it? Oh, it's over there. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. We have watching this in 2K, man. This shit's the best. I'm so excited for boss music, dude. Because th from the music I've heard from the things they've uploaded, it's been just so insanely good. Bump, bump, bump. Hey. Headless guy. Boop, boop, boop. Dutch. And pop, pop. Beauty. Hello. Can I backstab a dog? Nah. Can't smack him up, though. Whoa! Hey, man. Why'd you hit me? Huh? They just run up on you like that. Scary fox. Uh, there should be the other side of the thing we saw there, though. An urgent repair tool. How much should we lose per hit here? I didn't see. We lose, like, not that much. We lose a bit. But my arm actually regen the thing. So let me try fisting this guy. This guy. 
Big damage. Oh, shit. I don't know about bridges, man. I can go into a circus too. Fuck this. Open here, though. Um, let me actually... Let me use all these here. Boop. Another clear one. Also didn't go up here. Hey, you. Get that. And bop, bop, blom. I feel like a parry while doing that. I was stupid. I was naive. My weapon's fucking breaking. Yeah, let me try here. So does it actually reset on thing? I didn't see anything about that, did it? Let me get some more technique. Two more. Yes, please. Okay, it does reset my repair as well. That's good. I hope that doesn't become annoying later. Because, like, right now it's kind of fine. And it's a cool little extra system. But it has potential to just become, like, a, an annoying thing. I just really kill a couple guys there. Because I can get some uh, more damage. <laughs> Give me that. Ooh, bah, bah, bah. Look at that. That is damage right there. Can also do heavy into normal heavy. Can. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. Oh no. And that's the only way in. What? <laughs> this guy? Wait, ah! Please what the hell, man? Be careful. Training dummy guy? Hello there. Hello there. What? Welcome hey, don't say the same as me. Visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. Not a stalker, man. Here? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. Mm -hmm. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Okay. Uh, the stalkers. First thing that came to mind were those four fillers or however many we saw in the trailers. Because I don't know what they are. Also, we can buy the the weapons that we could choose from the beginning, it seems. Pretty cheap, too. That's very nice. Throwing cell inflicts electric damage. This imbues your weapon with electricity. Um, That could be very, very useful. I'll actually buy one of those. You know, I think that electricity is going to be good against the fellas, the bosses, big boys. I hear some music up there, but what's behind there? It's... That. The parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I'm the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. This Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the great exhibition. Check out his charms and the thing. Okay, I wonder, like, is it gonna start, like, saying these or mixing them together to say, like, fucked up shit? Because obviously we're gonna have to fight that most likely. I hear it. There's a pretty long way to run here if it's right here, the bus. Oh, shit. Hold on. Are we having our first boss boss fight? Smack that shit open. Hey, puppet master. Beta. Wait, fetal? Here he is. Oh, that is big. Look at that hat, though. Holy shit. Here he is. Nope. Nope. Okay, here comes the music. Dutch. All right, chill. Dutch. Bum, bum. Okay. <laughs> Stop that guy. We, we do not. I should have definitely um put on... Hey, wait, can you chill out for a second? I should have put on my uh, electricity thing. I'm kind of dodging though. That's kind of sick. Nice. Boom. Where is it? Is he? That's not Grog. Okay. Good stuff. He's so telegraphed that I'm just doing good. No. Okay. Bum. AS. Alright. We chill. We, we're good, man. Just keep dodging. Almost didn't get. Shit! I got hit by the big attack. Didn't do that much though. So we're good. Bop, bop. Dodge. Bop, bop. And dodge. Bop, bop, bop. Nerp. What's he doing? Keep going. I don't know what he's doing, but it's definitely second phase. Oh shit, he took off his head. Ow, he stabbed me in the head. Nerp. And then bum, 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 bum. Good, good. Dodge. Good. And dodge. I fucking am stupid. Nerp. And nerp. Alright. Bop, bop. Heavy. Out. That's beauty. Good. Nerp. Good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Boop. Ouch. Dodge. And then bum, bum, bum. Wait, do I do more in the bag or what? Nice 360, though. That's a nice animation. He's coming for me. Heal up. Good shit. I almost healed twice there accidentally. Oh, uh, nope. I did dodge, but it's fine. Bop, bop. No, not that attack. Okay, I'm fucking up at the end here. That's not good. Shit. Bum, bum. Ow, what? Good dodge. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, shit! 
Oh my god. Get up! Use the thing! Dodge! I did not just die. I didn't get him first try. I was doing so perfectly. I'm actually sad about that. I did like almost half his health without losing health. It's right though. Also, it spawns at the entrance of the fight. My money. Got a little thing up there that says how much, just in case you didn't realize you died. Yeah, I should have had that 100%. I just panicked at the end, I guess. Or rather, I got knocked down and it fucked me up. And then I thought my Y could kill him. I couldn't. But let's pop this. Oh, nice skate this is though. Look at that. Ooh. All right, let's go. Pussy. Nope. Nope. All right, let's, let's go now. Oh, we have big damage now. Holy shit. Actually, I don't know how much extra that is. I didn't really check it out. Okay, it, that, it's because that hits you when you're uh, doing it. Wait. He's healing up from it. But it's breaking him like a bastard. Nope. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. That does so much. Jesus. Uh, bomb, bomb, bomb. He was healing there, though. I saw that. Healed. Stannis penis. Shit. It's the swings. I don't know about them. They're weird. Dodge. Good. That's when I can get big attacks. Alright. Bomb. And nope. It's those, man. It, it hits you before the animation. Alright. Do this. Because of the swing itself, right? Also, no, it just heals all the time. Okay, I see. Good shit. Big damages. Ouch. You need to stop that. Touched. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. I should, you know, I should have just been more aggressive before. That was my problem. I will take that, though. Parade leader's ergo and a quad. This one gives 5k, but a treasure hunter may want this rare ergo. So it's like a thing you think you probably trade in, like in souls. And the quads is a P organ ability activation part. It activates a special ability when equipped to the thing. That was a fun boss, that. Pretty simple, but I enjoyed it. And we experienced death. You know, when there's no falling down, we don't die too often. <laughs> so it's good to have a death, so we can at least test it out in the first impressions here. Yeah? Hey, you're alive. Wait. Oh, shit. Huh? Can I answer them? Give yourself a treat of an unforgettable day. So yeah, puppets aren't allowed and that's like a sanctuary of some sort. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. Right. So, um... So you'll have to lie to get inside. Oh. You're a special puppet after I all. love that. I just love how they've really taken the base material there and just, you know, gone with it. Not just forgotten about it and stolen the name to sell more. No, they've actually integrated all this shit in there. It's good. Also, we've got a hidden moonstone. Upgrades. Okay, this is upgrade stuff. I mean, I definitely don't want to upgrade my first weapon here, but whatever the next one we find, might as well. It's a demo. Dim ergo fragment. Time to lie. Do I need to choose? Oh, yes. That way we... I, I, have to I have to try for the video. Come on. I was just going to be like, uh, fuck you. Alright, at least he didn't shoot me. I just wanted to see if he, like, shocked me. That'd be funny. Let's do this. I love this effect, though. Sound effects and all that. It's cool. Whispers. Aha. That's as far as the technology goes is that they've made me able to lie. That being an, a thing in the game, is there going to be like a choice at some point that will actually alter the ending? That'd be kind of cool. Hotel crat. Look at that. Holy shit, I am see all that. Lies. Off. Penis. It's not over, right? Like, okay, I was going to say, if it was over and it was like two to three hours, what the fuck? It was like 30 minutes. We get to play some more. <gasps> Who are you? I mean, you're Sophia, right? But... Hello? You got the blue butterfly thing? But it's not showing her eyes though. Show them to me. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, she's cute. I am Sophia. What's it with this type I've of character? For you. I love them. Searched all over the city of Crop to find you. Yay. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. Okay. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. We'll try. Wait. Take this pocket watch. 
Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Clever one. That is nice. Yeah, I like how they have this sort of character too. That is so nice and chill. Also, hello, I heard about you from Geppetto, Eugenie. But to see you in person. Wow, you should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Give this to me. This is have cute women here. It's a Korean game, so we're going back to my roots here. Hey, I'm half Korean and half European, you know, much like this game. Legion Army is a special equipment that does this and its abilities. Yeah, uh -huh. I want to see more of them. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the workshop. Eugenie. Okay. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. These are, these are all sure uh, Italian, Japan right? I, I just know the author is Italian. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I've been to this like fucking four or five times. I don't know barely anything about it because I was a kid, mostly. <gasps> Cat shrine? <laughs> Look at these guys are standing there. Wait, actually for real, no, no, no. Where can I get just a little standing cat like that? I need a picture of suit standing like that. Just stood there. I organize this place according to the rules, so don't move a thing. I'm allergic to real cats, so this is the best I can do. I need this. Investigate. What is this? We can sew shit. I'll switch the arms. Puppet string. So we just used that. Now we have this. There's less damage. There's actually a lot of damage in that one, too. I should actually use that in the fight, to be honest. Or at least if you're motivated, you can use that to just fist people really hard. This is better for me as well. And it is like a grappling hook that takes them towards you. Or you go to them, depending on how you use it. How to use it. Press and hold the thing button to track an enemy. Enables dodging after a hit. If you pull a wire, trace an enemy and press and hold the thing. It'll trigger a link attack. Is this the stargazer? It is. This is the one. Teleport to another one. Yes. That's it. Also, there she is. Old woman we just saw. Hello? Are you Krat? Antonia. We don't insist on reservation. Oh, look at her face, though. Wait, she's got huh? she's got the disease, Antonia. right? What's it called? And this is my hotel. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the George Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws. But yeah. Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. But why, if though? If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, oh, but it is. I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. She seems really sweet and nice. We got some clothes and a new gesture there. Um, let me see if get a close look at this here. So it's little warts of sorts. It looks, you know, a little bit mechanical or like nano machine son. And it's taken over her eye as well. It's called the petrification disease. Okay, so it's kind of like you're just literally becoming stone. It's nice and down there. Give it to me. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings, according to law. Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. Uh, at one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Where are they now? Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it's connected to an unknown hill. But now the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style as the recent rumors of the grand exhibition, Ghost Hotel Spread. More customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel, I've heard that more times than I can remember, but fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Now that's how you answer a question like that. Good on you. Rating 4 to 5, creepy and mystical, best resort in Krat. Reporter Medoro. This guy was made with the support of the company, a friend of the city. But yeah, after getting a relation from a a mysterious tree, though. This motherfucker saw Yggdrasil and just made a hotel. <gasps> What's up, Welcome Alfred? To Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Hi. Please let me know how I may be of service. So, how come this one hasn't been affected by the. At Hotel Crop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Yes, Welcome by the friends. To Hotel Crop. How may I be of service? I don't know. What can you do? We can buy and sell shit. Just normal stuff here, yeah. About the Grand Covenant. Actually, I want to know about this. Why are you not affected? Is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. So were you like made before shit and you're on your own sort of thing or First what? Law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Okay. Second law. 
A puppet may not harm humans. But they did? <laughs> Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. So you're not lying. Yes. I've told you about the laws and great. But upon the thing about puppet. that is though. That lying is a weird thing, right? Because if he's told something, it's going to think that that's the truth. And he can spread that information, even though it is misinformation. And they are technically lying, but they're not really lying. You know what I'm saying. I'm on to you, Polendina. And I want to go. I also want to go upstairs. But uh, that's actually going to have to do it for the first episode of Lies of P demo. Amazing first impressions. This feels so nice to play. Looks super duper good. Runs so well. Music slaps my ass. Settings great. I'm already so into the lore and story. And you know, you should just expand from here and get better and better. The only criticism I'd have maybe is that the dodge. It's good iframes, but just the, the way it feels. It's something a little bit janky about it, but it's only because it's compared to how good all the other shit is. And the other thing is, I hope there's some way you can re-roll. Um, otherwise, you know, obviously, you just have to do another run like you kind of had to in the past with Bloodborne, etc. And the last thing would maybe be the durability system. Is it going to be annoying later? I don't know. But for now, it's cool enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see the next one tomorrow, leave a like on this video, please. Helps me out so much as well as just, you know, let me know. Leave a funny comment too. I love reading them. Or if you want to get the game yourself, what you thought, anything, check out my Twitter, second channel stream merch links are in the description of course subscribe if you're around here and as always my name is smith thanks for watching